Chef Tony is back, and we are in the Publix kitchen. So welcome back to River City Live. I'm not even sure what this is, but it smells delicious. What do we have lined up today? Oh, um, this is good stuff, but I'm, we'll get to that in just a moment. But I got to get this pasta in there. You guys know this is the three-minute pasta, so we got three minutes. We're going to get the pasta into this dish, and then we'll talk about everything else that might be in there, okay? All right. I All right, like so it. So we're going to, I'm going to constantly move this around while we talk today. So what we have is uh, we have a barbecue chicken and cheese pasta is what we're working with. And we wanted to use this quick cooking pasta. I use this at home a good bit too. I like it better than some of the box ones. Um, and it's just a time saver. So what we've started with is, is cooking off a little bit of bacon, um, using that bacon oil, as I like to call it. I hope, uh, hope Dr. Bowles isn't watching. It's, <laughs> it's bacon oil, Dr. Bowles. Bacon oil, not fat. And that's actually, that's what I smell right away. Well, that's, that's that that's, first thing. And then yeah. we get the aromatics in there with the red onion and the green peppers, right? So they're cooking off um, really good and starting to soften up. And once they soften up, we add a can of the diced tomatoes with garlic. As you can see, that's that one right there. That goes in, two cups of chicken stock goes in, and then a half a cup of barbecue sauce. And I love these Heinz barbecue sauce. I know we got some great local sauces, but for something that, you know, if I'm in say Mississippi, I'm probably not gonna find one of my favorite barbecue sauces sure. from here unless sure. I brought it with me. <clears throat> so Heinz has some that are geared toward the regions of barbecue in the country. Memphis, Kansas City, Carolina. Um, this is a Texas one right here. So you put a half a cup of that in and you let it simmer. All right, so that simmers for a few minutes and then you go to the Publix Deli and you grab some of our Smokehouse favorites over there. We have some Smokehouse favorite chicken quarters. So we've gone ahead and picked that and we've put that in here as well. So we have a smoky flavor that's building not just from the barbecue sauce, but also from that chicken from the deli. Yeah, and, and a lot of it is either pre-packaged or pre-made. Mm -hmm. You assemble it together like you do traditionally, but yeah. it's just such a time saver and it makes it so easy. And you know, today we've been talking a lot about back to school, back to school shopping. Right? Well, this is perfect right before the kids really, you know, they get off the bus or they come home, whatever it is, you could whip this up. It's nice and hearty. And if they want Definitely. leftovers, you could warm it up in the morning and put it in a the thermos as well. All right, so you can see that pasta is, you know, it's halfway done right yeah. now. We're just kind of letting that liquid in the liquid. You see the pan's getting drier. That's because that, that's going up into the pasta. All right, oh, I mean, just look how, how wonderful. The chicken's in there. Now that's in there. Now I did hold back because it says add cheese, chicken, and pasta at the same time. And I'm like, all right, I'm gonna hold off on my cheese because I really need for my pasta to get cooked and not get glumped up by my That's a good note. aged white cheddar cheese, right? Yeah. So now that this is just about there, right? Starting to mix a little bit more. And again, if you're fancy and you want to pick up the thing like they do on TV, I'm happy cleaning your mess up in your kitchen is what <laughs> I'm going to tell you, okay? So just move that out a little bit. Uh, we're gonna put the cheese on top. Now I will tell you, normally there's a little bit of bacon that goes with this, but as I was waiting to come on TV, I ate the bacon. <laughs> it happens so. to everyone, right? So and you just, the cheese melts in, it becomes creamy and cheesy. You finish with some green onions if you want to, um, that are already sliced up. And look at that, I'm gonna put some of this in this bowl right here. And I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you try to get some of this. Now, I know the pasta was about three minutes to cook. Mm -hmm. what, what's the entire dish? How, how long for that? Um, hold on, let me cheat. 30 minutes. There you go. So it's a quick one, easy to do, and once again, it has a lot of flavor to it. There and I like the strategy, and we do it all the time, especially with the aprons, made simple meals. A lot of it's pre-packaged. You could go through, do your shopping, you could put it together. You might even have a handful of this stuff just in your house already. Well, and that's part of what, what, what you want is, you know, we, we, the meals have kind of come around where if it's in your house, barbecue sauce you probably have, but if you don't, try this one. You know, you may have a can of tomatoes with garlic, you gotta chop garlic up and put it right. in. So, it makes it easy, it makes it convenient, but yet you can still go to your pantry and pull some items as well. This is so good. The flavor is just like throughout the dish. Again, it's, and, and it's, you know what it is? It's a hint of bacon. It's not overpowering any of the flavors. Right. It blends perfectly together. So to get this recipe, you go to newsforjacks.com slash recipes to pick up these quality ingredients. Just go to your neighborhood public store. Thanks again, Chef Tony. You've done it again. Well, my pleasure. I'm going to keep on eating. Yeah. And I'm going to send it over to eating.